Morning everybody. I know it's weird that it's Saturday and I'm at the gym, but like I said yesterday, this treadmill standing here and for every mile that's walked on it, they're gonna donate a dollar to breast cancer awareness. So you know what? I got up a half hour early and I came into the gym just to walk a mile. It helps somebody, why not? You know, and it helps me too. It's burning some calories. So I figured today while I'm on the breast cancer awareness treadmill, I would talk about some of the amazing women in my life that have been touched by breast cancer. And if I get emotional, I'm sorry. The first one was my mother-in-law, Alvia. I only got to know her for a few years. She passed away a few months after our wedding. She was an amazingly strong woman. She would call our house every day. And because of caller ID, I always knew it was her. And I would answer and I'd say, hello, mama. She'd say, hello, brat. She called me brat every day. She called her grandkids brats all the time too. That's what she did if she loved you. She was a good woman. And we both loved liver and onions. That's what made her love me right away. I like liver. Deal with it. <laughs> My husband always says if I eat liver, it's okay, just don't breathe on them. <laughs> anyway, before she passed away, she told my husband and I that we would be having a daughter with long, dark, curly hair. <laughs> we weren't even pregnant yet, but she knew that we were gonna have our amazing little Gracie. That's the one real big regret is that Gracie didn't get to meet her grandma Alvia. They would have loved each other. Another amazing woman in my life that was touched by breast cancer was my grandma Rosie. I don't think we knew she had breast cancer towards the end of her life, but they did find it. This was a tiny little woman with a big heart for the Lord. She loved Jesus. She loved serving the Lord. She taught junior church at our church for, gosh, as long as I lived. Maybe, a, I don't know, maybe 130 years she taught it. I don't know, she did it forever. And she taught us all these fun little Bible songs. And now as an adult, I'm a Sunday school teacher for four and five and six year olds. I'm the music teacher. And you know what? I use my Grandma Rosie's songs. And the kids love them. So this was a woman who taught me about Jesus. And uh, she always had time for her family. She was crazy about taking pictures. She took pictures at every event we had. We always had to sit and smile for grandma's pictures. You know what, I never saw any of them printed. You know, someday we're gonna find barrels and barrels full of undeveloped 35 millimeter film. And I'll have amazing throwback Thursday pictures to post. Uh, she was a really good woman. One day every year, she would take me to the county fair. And for some reason, it always rained on the day that grandma took us, but we didn't care. We'd get those French waffles with the powdered sugar on them. And we'd walk through the 4-H buildings and look at all the crafts that everybody did. I think that's why God makes it rain, at least one day at the fair, so that the crafts get looked at. <laughs> the animals too. But she was an amazing woman and uh, she taught me a lot. And the third woman in my life that was touched by breast cancer, that means a lot to me, is my Aunt Deanna. And she's a breast cancer survivor. She's an amazing woman. For some reason, her and my Uncle Peter have always called me Sammy. Like whenever they see me, they say, hey, Sammy. <laughs> they love me, and I love them. They're two of my favorite people in the world. They used to let me come spend a week at their house every summer. And I almost drowned when I was nine years old. I guess when I was sinking, uh, and the girl that saved me, Janine Chryslip Kirby, when uh, she walked in, I was actually dead me and floating. I was almost gone. I was almost gone to meet Jesus, and I didn't even know him yet. But, um, so Janine saved me. I will always be eternally grateful to her. But I have a fear of water. And my Uncle Peter and Aunt Deanna made sure that I went to the campgrounds near their house, and my Uncle Peter taught me how to swim. And just last year at my friend Mary's house, we went and stayed at a hotel, and I swim all the way across the deep end of the pool. Yeah, I can swim, but still being in that deep water terrifies me because I remember going down. I remember going down two times, and that was forever ago. But Uncle Peter made sure I learned how to swim. And Aunt Deanna always made sure that Uncle Peter kept himself in line. But also, I think that's where I got fat, because Uncle Peter fed me Sundays every day, like chocolate fudge Sundays, every day, like for dessert for every meal. So Uncle Peter made me fat. <laughs> I can't blame him. I'm the one that shoveled it into my mouth. Anyway, Aunt Deanna's amazing. And last week, um, or not last week, last year, 
I did a cancer walk with her in Cleveland and she was such a trooper. It was such an honor to walk with her. She's an amazing aunt and I love her. Anyway, so I've only walked 0.4 miles, but I wanted to share this story with you, these women that are amazing. And I wanna stress the importance of getting mammograms. Get yourself checked out every year. Check your breasts every month in the shower. Early detection is the key. It runs in my family. So you better believe I get myself checked and I periodically check for lips to make sure I'm healthy. You know why? Because I have an amazing daughter with long dark curly hair and I want to be here for a long time for her. Okay, so thank you guys for listening to me talk about my family that I love and I miss. And uh, I'm grateful that I still have my Aunt Deanna. And uh, you guys have a great weekend. Love ya. Bye.